President Obama has named a brand new acting commissioner of the Internal Revenue Service. It follows the revelation that the federal tax agency improperly singled out conservative groups like the Tea Party for special scrutiny. News H chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us more now with reaction to the scandal in the conservative community here in Connecticut. Mark. Hi, Keith and Ann. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, this scandal seems to give an added credibility to Tea Partiers and others who have been saying you can't trust the government. This rally at the state capitol four years ago, just after the national financial crisis, was the high watermark for Tea Party activism in Connecticut. There have been rallies since, but never this big. Fergus Cullen is executive director of the only conservative think tank in Connecticut. He believes that the IRS scandal will help to rejuvenate the Tea Party movement in Connecticut. I do think that the Tea Party wave may have crested, but this certainly gives it a little push again, and I think that that gives them a lot more credibility. You know, a lot of them really feel the government has been out to get them, and it turns out that maybe they were right. Republican State Senator Joe Markley is the only Tea Party candidate in the state legislature. Nobody has complained about being harassed themselves that I'm aware of, but I think everybody is alarmed and disturbed by the idea. But Markley believes that the IRS scandal only serves to reinforce some Tea Party views. There was a hostility towards the movement that left people, I think, expecting that something like this might happen. It confirms the worst fears that people have. In Washington, Republicans are now attempting to link the IRS scandal to the implementation of Obamacare, saying that the tax agency can't be trusted to implement the tax credits and other tax advantages that go along with the, with the health care plan. The latest coming up on World News at 6.30. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.